Welcome to the segment of Pittsburgh Business Virgin. I'm your host, Brad Hilbert, president of Three Rivers Wealth Management Group. Co-hosting today, Mr. Brian Klaus. I had to think that for yeah. a second. <clears throat> no, I was going to say something, but then I decided. I was going to say uh, Progi's, uh, Progi's daddy, okay. Klaus. But uh, we are so happy to have uh, C.J. Patrick. He's the president of Quest4 um, here with us today, a marketing firm that's been in uh, business for quite a while. Welcome to our show. Thanks for having our me. Our humble little show. So tell us a little bit about your um, your background, CJ. How did you get to the point where you're the El Presidente of Quest 4? Well, I um, had a, a background. In, I, was a, I was a software developer, web developer, uh, graduated from Penn State, um, got to working for a few companies, saw an opportunity in providing services uh, th- in a in a cost effective manner, uh, started my own company in, in 2006 called Blue Fox Development, um, and where we really found a niche was servicing a lot of the marketing marketing firms around town who sold themselves as you know w- in the process of of selling, uh, often came up with with m- more in depth projects from a web development standpoint yeah. that they could handle. So we would uh, handle a lot of the the work for them. Um, Started doing some work with Quest 4, did about three big projects in a row with them, uh, found there to be a really nice fit. Uh, Ken Cuccinelli, the owner of Quest 4, approached me at that time, this was in uh, 2010, and said, you know, what do you think about <coughs> making making this relationship a little bit more concrete? And what we did was created a joint venture. and. What, what the idea was is bringing the expertise of Blue Fox development with, with our really robust web development capabilities to the uh, really wide base of clients of, of Quest 4. Quest 4. Quest 4 had been around for, at that point, 35 years and r- had serviced most of the major companies in Pittsburgh. And so the idea being that none of the competitors could offer the, the skill set that we were able to bring with the joint venture. No. Successful? Yes, it's been uh, so. We started in April 2010 with three people. Uh, quickly grew from that point, and now we're at uh, 24 people. Wow. Now, CJ, you, you got you got to see both sides. You got to start a company. You got to come into an established company. What were some of the differences, or what were some of the, the different the maybe difficulties that you had making that transition into the established company that you didn't have? When you were starting your own deal, well, I think there's there's a couple of different ways to answer that question. One, um, you're, when you you have a, a smaller company, the need for process isn't there quite as much, uh, so you can obviously be a lot more agile uh, and and be able to react a lot more quickly to to things as they change. Um, now, with uh, as you come into an established company that's been around for a long time. Obviously, there's some great benefits there. They have, you know, an HR system in place. They have um, just an office structure in place. But what that also does is, is it makes you react a little bit differently to some of the challenges you're faced with, where you have to take into consideration a, a previous culture that is in place. So I think that was one of the major challenges, one of the things that really took some getting used to, from my perspective. The old overall organization impact. When decisions are made. Yes. Yeah, you have Versus to. Versus sitting in the room with four or five people and saying, hey, let's, let's do, do it. this. Yes. And get it done. Yep. Um, so from a standpoint of how you had to adapt, you had to be, what, more thoughtful in your in your approach? I mean, what? how would you I think there describe was, that, you that know, metamorphosis that you had to... With Blue Fox, I think there was when an opportunity would present itself, uh, I had the ability to essentially say yes or no right at the moment. And, and because I knew all of the impacts that could possibly have, because there was, there was only a handful of them, uh, with once you get the, the much larger company and we're, we're 48 people right now, when an opportunity presents itself, you can't just look at it from the perspective of, okay, this is going to affect the interactive department this way, but you also have to, to figure out one, 
does the client that we're maybe have the opportunity with, are they using some other agency that we're going to run up against? And are there other opportunities for some of the other groups coming into this situation? Yep. Um, so it's a, it's a, it's much more of a cross selling situation. What about culture? Uh, and again, you, you have, it's a very different culture when you look at a, a design marketing firm to an interactive firm. There's, it's a, I think, you know, you talk about right versus left brain. You have a very different set of w different way of thinking. And so you, you have to be very cognizant of the fact when you're making decisions of, of the different element of the different types of people that you are dealing with. Awesome. Come on back with CJ pa Patrick. We're going to talk about um, what advice and some of the surprises he has for people that are starting their own business. As he had mentioned, he started Blue Fox Development. Clearly did a great job because a very established firm in the area uh, caught wind and notice of him and uh, actually brought him into, uh, into their organization. And, of course, that, that caused a great deal of change to their business model and, and took it to the next level. So very, very interesting um, conversation. You can catch Quest 4 at www.quest4.com. That's Q-U-E-S-T-F-O-R-E. Dot com. Come back with CJ in a minute.